What's that sound? I want to share a little bit about a mechanic that I just finished working on for a new game. What this does is it makes this creepy sound move above your head across these vents that you see highlighted in magenta. When it gets to a vent, it plays this clanging sound to let you know something's above you. When it's done, it selects a different random vent and moves to it next. This is how the mechanic works. Each time the level loads, a new session is started. We get the number of vents remaining in the session. This vent manager object is just placed in the level above the ceiling and then each vent is associated with it. You can see that's what these magenta squares are. We shuffle the sequence of the vents so that each session is a different sequence. We set the starting vent sound to be that crawling sound, which is sound zero, or this one right here. Then we pick the next vent in this case, it'll be the first vent picked. Then we set a timer, so every 31 seconds, a new round will take place. You pick the next vent or the first vent, and make sure that there are enough vents remaining to actually pick from. It loops through all the vents and finds the first one that does not have an inactive tag on it. It grabs the index of that vent to be used in a second. We then get a copy of that specific vent and set it as the current vent. We add an inactive tag to it so it can't be picked the next round. We decrement the number of vents remaining in a session. And then we move the sound. Again, we set the vent sound to make sure it's that crawling sound. Then we play it. And then we're going to move it using this piece right here. So we're going to move it over 15 seconds. And so we're dividing that by one and to set the play rate of the specific timeline that feeds into this lerp. The timeline is a simple float track that goes from zero to one over one second. It lurps between the starting location of where this vent manager currently is until it reaches this current vent's location. When it's done, it's going to wait at the vent. We're going to stop the sound. We're going to wait a few more seconds. Set the sound to that clanging sound, or this one. Play that for about 10 seconds and stop it and then set the vent sound back to the crawling sound. At that moment, the timer will pick back up because the duration has run out that is set here and it will go back to pick the next event. When there are no vents left to be used, it ends the session, which clears the timer loops through all the vents and removes that inactive tag so that it can be used in the next session, stops the sound, and waits a few seconds before starting the next session. So that's how that works. I just want to give you a little bit of a sneak peek at that mechanic. It definitely creates an uneasy feeling and an unexpected element to this game. Until next time.